Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Jailbreak with another edition of iOS Inside Track, and I wanted to show you guys how to get iPhoto working on your iOS 5.0.1 device. Now, when Apple released iPhoto last week, they made it dependent on iOS 5.1 so that users that were still on iOS 5.0.1, which should hopefully be all of you guys that are jailbreakers to upgrade. So with that being said, if you guys have a jailbroken device, you're in luck and you don't have to upgrade and run 5.1 just to get iPhoto. Now I personally think iPhoto is overpriced. I don't think Apple really put a lot of effort into it and I think they kind of just slapped it together and released it. And at $4.99, you know, it's kind of a ripoff. So what you guys need to do is have iPhoto installed on your device and then actually let me just show you guys that I am on 5.0.1 right there version 5.0.1 so I'm going to go into Cydia and I'm going to go to search and I'm going to search for this iPhoto and you're going to see iPhoto 501 fix install that and once it has been installed, it'll ask you to respring your device. Once your device has resprung, you will then be able to open up iPhoto on iOS 5.0.1. And that's it. So, again, I personally don't think it's that great of an app, especially for $4.99. There are a lot of free alternatives out there. But if you guys are Apple enthusiasts and want to check it out, that's how you can do it without having to upgrade to 5.1. Now, if you guys do have any issues and it still seems to crash even after um, adding the fix through Cydia, what you can do is if you have iFile, which I highly recommend everybody having, you can get that through Cydia. Open it up and navigate back all the way to here and then you're going to want to go to system library core services scroll all the way down and you'll see system version plist click on that and open it up in text viewer and then you can click edit and then come down here and simply delete the period and the zero so now it'll say 5.1 click done and then save and then done again and then all you have to do now is simply respring your device and iPhoto should not crash that's only if the fix doesn't work and you still are you know having issues with it crashing and that's it so please rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter check out my links for swagbucks and Dropbox and until next time guys Cheers.